We're already getting into our conversation this morning. We're going to have the Rocky Mount Lions Club on talking about their upcoming Daily and Vincent concert. We want to welcome you to Rise and Shine here on this Friday morning. If you're watching us, that means you've had your power restored. You may be watching us, though, on our live stream on Facebook. But we want to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule with us here to hear all of this wonderful information. And we're going to kick it off first. I'm going to show you this poster. I know that you've seen this around town and at different places, but we've got two fine gentlemen here that are going to tell us all about this as well as the Rocky Mount Lions Club. So, gentlemen, if you would introduce yourself this morning. I'm Roger Seal, uh, treasurer of the Lions Club. Yeah. And I'm James Williams, a member. Yes, and we've talked about this. Uh, we've been talking about it here on Rise and Shine during our announcements. We've talked about it over the last uh, several years uh, when you've been on with Mr. Shoemaker, but that's Daily and Vincent concert, first and foremost, is an excellent concert. Uh, if you're a fan of just music in general, you're going to love uh, the performance that you're going to see. But secondly, it's a great fundraiser for the Rocky Mount Lions Club. Yeah, right now that's our major fundraiser. Uh, I know uh, it, we started, the Lions Club uh, started, I think, bringing in outside entertainment, uh, entertainment out of town. Started with the Lewis family and, and the Osborne brothers mm -hmm. uh, in 1984. Uh, Bill Ver the late Bill Vernon, who was at work at WYTI, uh, made the connections for us to get those started. Mm -hmm. And so at, at that point, the, co bringing, uh, the concerts became our major source of funding for the community work we do. And we, we, uh, it, it allowed us to quit knocking on doors and begging money from all the businesses here in the community. Yes. Yeah. And what is this good work that the Lions Club does? Why, you know, why are you guys raising funds? Well, we have uh, the main focus is uh, eyesight, which is glasses. We provide glasses for people that need them. And, uh, and then we do lots of other things. We have uh, scholarships for uh, kids to go to college. We have uh, scholarships to go to, uh, what is it? Four state, four H camp, four H camp, state, and, camp, state. Uh, and then when needed, uh, boy state and girl state. I boy state and girl good. state. Yeah. Uh, oh my, right off hand, it's hard to think of what all we do. do. <laughs> but it's a lot but of great it's things. A, it's a lot of great things that we do. It's not mm -hmm. just solely gla sure. eyeglasses, but that's our main focus. Is, and we do have some uh, assistance for hearing. Mm -hmm. uh, my C and I dogs program, we contribute to that. Uh, so the money is well used, and every every penny that we raised on fundraisers mm -hmm. goes to our projects. Absolutely, and it's a, a lot of things that aren't hit by other nonprofits uh, here in our community. Right. You know, we talked about the eyesight and the hearing and the, the service dogs and stuff like that. That's kind of specialized to the Lions Club. Yeah. Yeah, we can You know, the Lions Clubs. Uh, as we were coming on the <laughs> air, I mentioned they're a hundred years old now, a little over and. Uh, they formed in Chicago in 1917, mm -hmm. and then about in the 1920s, if, if the folks out there, if you remember Helen Keller, if, if that name uh, rings a bell with you, you know, she was a lady who was born uh, deaf, blind, and at that time mute. Mm -hmm. She learned, uh, working with some teachers, then to speak. Uh, and she challenged the Lions Club to become Knights of the Blind. And so that is hung with the Lions Club. That's their major focus, uh, I guess, worldwide. Uh, Lions Clubs exist in uh, over 200 countries across the, wow. the world here. Uh, our local club, we're proud of that. The Rocky Mount Club was formed in 1924. So some, later this year, uh, we, I think June 24th was our charter date will be 95 years old. Wow. And we, we you know, sometimes uh, I guess James and I feel like we've been in it ever since it started. <laughs> but not uh, quite. <laughs> not quite. A no, while, but not yeah. quite. No, it, it is uh, an organization that, that had this main focus uh, always on site conservation mm -hmm. and working with the blind. Uh, James mentioned the, the leader dogs for the blind. Uh, the, the Lions uh, operate a school that in Minnesota where they train the dogs and also train the, the people that are going to be using the service dogs. You know, both, both 
part, sides of that have, you take some training. Absolutely. Uh, and so the, uh, the local clubs, all the clubs c contribute into that and to keep that, that uh, uh, leader dogs for the blind is what, yeah. what it's called operating. Yeah. And we, you know, site conservation here, uh, James mentioned eyeglasses and eye exams. Oh, yeah, I have a, another favorite local charity that we contribute to is the Donna Sink Pediatric Fund. Yes. Uh, we support them, and that's dear, near and dear to me because of uh, what yeah. it does in the community. It's going to be coming up tomorrow, I believe. Yeah, and they yeah, have a concert yeah, coming up Yeah, give them a tomorrow. plug. It's going it's yeah. to be maybe a wet night, but, <laughs> <laughs> thanks to Jamie. Yeah, no snow. So. <laughs> and yeah. before we talk about the concert here, I think we would be remiss. I know you guys ha always have opportunities for people to just make a monetary donation. Or it oh, yeah. says uh, donation of eyeglasses. I know you guys yeah, will always be accepted. We always collect an eyeglasses. Uh, and of course, money, we'd be glad to take that anytime. And if somebody wants to make a donation, what's the, the easiest or the best way to do that? We well, just, just contact the line, either one of us. Uh, yeah, we have uh, make, make your donation uh, or check payable to the Rocky Mountain Lions Club and mm -hmm. send it to Post Office Box 824 in Rocky Mountain. And we would love to have some uh, new members. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. the second question there, you yeah. know, needing new members all the time. Need yeah. New members, young and energetic and wants, wants to get involved with the community. Do you guys have regular meetings or, or how does that structure yeah, we, work? We meet uh, once a month now and that's on the second Monday at six o'clock, uh, second Monday evening. And uh, so we just, I know people are busy, but uh, it, it's a time you, you do good things for the in the community and you have good fellowship too so it, it's it, it's the social aspect to the clubs and uh, we we don't uh, say we don't have too many members we'll take we'll be glad to have uh, a few do a couple dozen more so <laughs> absolutely continue all the great work yeah. but now it's time to get to the meat and potatoes of what we're going to be talking about this morning the concert with Daly and Vincent quickly approaching March the 15th. You think March, that's a long ways away. You know, I've got well, plenty of time to worry about that, but you know, we're knocking on the door already. We're knocking on the door. Mm -hmm. Next week it'll be March. So, oh, yeah. wow, I didn't even think it was that close, but yeah, yeah. you're definitely right. Showtime's at eight o'clock, doors open at seven. That's yeah. probably the more important time. Uh, you wanna yeah. get there early to get your seats, <laughs> uh, but lots of opportunities to get those tickets early. Uh, yeah. You don't wanna be having to wait to buy them at the door, hoping for a sold out crowd. Um, so yeah. what are some of those places well, that Well, just for information, the last, what, three, four, five years, it's yes, been sold it's out. sold out. People <laughs> begging for tickets at the last minute, and, you know, we try to accommodate them, but fire marshal says you can have so many, right. and that's how many we have. So right. we yeah. got in trouble one year, and we learned our lesson. So. <laughs> yeah, we had people packed everywhere for right. that. <laughs> but, and I think the, yeah, the places you can, locally you can uh, get your tickets at, Redwood Minute Market and Redwood Fair Minute Market mm -hmm. uh, and then Haywood's Jewelers here in town. Uh, Harold Ingram at, and, and the staff there at Haywood's have always, you know, been kind to us and, and they sell a lot of tickets there. <laughs> they're kind of a central location, but yeah, they're $25 uh, in advance. And if you wait to come to the door, you may not get any, but if you do, they're going to be $30 at the door. So uh, we urge people to get out and they get their tickets early. Uh, it is an early arriving uh, mm -hmm. crowd, but by contract with Daly and Vincent, we open the doors at seven, mm -hmm. one hour before the show. And uh, they, it's, we've, we've been pleased to have that uh, Daly and Vincent and their band come, uh, I guess it's been Ever, about ever since they started performing as a group. Yeah. And I think they released their first record about 2007, I believe. And now they have, a, I think they got about 10 uh, albums out and they're, they're members of the Grand Ole Opry now. And also had got Entertainer of the Year awards and, and uh, both Darren and Jamie will write, write some songs too. And it is a what they say now a little mix of bluegrass, gospel, and country, and uh, they do a great job with St old Statler Brothers songs. Wow. If 
those of you out there that remember the Statler brothers, mm -hmm. uh, uh, they put out a CD of, of nothing but Statler music. And uh, so and it is good family mm -hmm. friendly fun. You, you can bring your child out. It's, it's not a, you know, you never, you never have to worry about uh, the language or anything used. Now, uh, a good wholesome show, so bring your whole family out and you'll have a, have a good time. I had one guy that called to order tickets, uh, and he had a, a child that came to the show last year, five years old, no, four years old, and, and sat there and listened to the whole thing. And that, now I think they get them on their TV show on RFD channel, uh, said that, that he'll record them sometimes because it, and she'll sit and watch two shows at the time, and she's ready to come back again this year. So you're getting getting some young fans now. Yes, so. Definitely. And again, if you're just joining us, those details: Friday, March the fifteenth. Doors open at seven. Showtime's going to be at eight. Franklin County High School Auditorium there in Rocky Mount. Uh, Twenty-five dollars if you get your tickets in advance, and that's something that you definitely want to do. Uh, get them as early as you possibly can because you're going to pay thirty dollars at the door if there's tickets available. As they said, uh, there's only a certain number of tickets they can sell, and after that, unfortunately, they can't sell any more. Haywood's Jewelers in Rocky Mount, Fair Minute Market, and the Redwood Minute Market. So those are all of the details of this event. But again, maybe the folks are just joining us this morning as they're, they're getting ready uh, for work or ready to go back to school here on this Friday morning. Uh, one of you kind of quickly hit what the Lions Club is here in Rocky Mount, and. Um, you know, invite people to come out and join you guys. Yeah. Okay. Well, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, we uh, I will mention that we're going to be 95 years old in 2019. Our club was char chartered in 1924. I think it was June 24th, 1924. And uh, uh, I, you know, it, it's it's what we do is we, in addition to this site conservation, we have a wonderful program. We have worked working with the Industries of the Blind in Winston-Salem. Mm -hmm. We can uh, get people glasses and frames and help pay for the eye exam for, it's almost nothing out of pocket for. Uh, and we, we usually help somewhere between 30 and 50 uh, people per year with that. Uh, we do recycle the eyeglasses. So if you come to the show, Brings, uh, you know, look around in a drawer or a box or whatever, bring those used eyeglasses because we have in Roanoke uh, on Elm Avenue, there's what used to be called the Eye Bank Building. And we do, re uh, we'll clean them and we have machines there that will read the prescriptions and then we sort them. And they're used, uh, some of them go uh, to other countries, uh, South America and Africa, and uh, some of them are used also in these big. Uh, uh, you might be familiar with the rural uh, med assistance uh, medical mm -hmm. thing down in Appalachia. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're used there. Those people are happy. They don't care what they, their glasses look like. Sure. They just want to see better. And that's the thing. So come to the show, uh, bring a bunch of eyeglasses. We'll have a box or something to put the used eyeglasses in. And, We'll see that they are recycled. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just come to have a good time. We usually, the crowd is, is wonderful. We never had, it's always been crowded, mm -hmm. but everybody seems to get along. And everybody has a good time and uh, just come and have a happy time. Because, you know, like you said, people like to get there early, so it gets crowded in there early. Mm -hmm. But people seem to enjoy themselves and each other, and uh, it's just a good time. And then yeah. the show starts and they do a 90 minute set and uh, they like it that way. Instead of taking a break in the middle, they start out and they build the show to the finale. That's the way they like to do it. And uh, so it's, it's always been a great time there. Absolutely. Yeah. Again, we continue to remind you, and it may sound like they were stressing it for you to go ahead and get your tickets early, but they're talking out of experience that if you want to see Daly and Vincent, and we know that you do, get those tickets early at those different locations, Haywoods Jewelers, uh, Redwood Minute Market and the Fair Minute Market for Friday, March the 15th. Doors open at 7. Also need to get there early. They're talking from experience. It's going to be an early arriving crowd. Show starts at 8. It's going to be a 90-minute show there at the high school auditorium. But as we, they also said, you can make a donation to the Lions Club. 
Uh, what was that address that they could send it to? P.O. Box 824, Rocky Mount. That's right. Yeah. Easy enough. You write a check for the Rocky Mount Lions Club, bring those used eyeglasses, and also if you're interested in being a member of the Lions Club, uh, you can definitely get in contact with a, a Lions Club member and they would definitely love to have you. We've already talked with Roger and we said that if there's tickets available as we get closer to this show, uh, you may be able to come back on and talk a little right. bit more about it. But for some reason, I think that this may be the last time we get to talk about this here on air because I think all these tickets are, are going to be bought up quick. And yeah. um, That's not a threat, but that's yeah. just telling well, you. If you want to see the show, get those they're tickets They're beginning now. to move pretty good. So. Absolutely. So we, can, we continue to, to stress that out. Yeah, once the, once the weather opens up a little bit, uh, we, we've noticed that spurt. <laughs> Uh, I, we get a lot of orders from people out of town, out of the county, sure. and there's several people call. One of the things they say, well, I wanted to come last year, but I waited too late. Mm -hmm. And so just we urge you to do that. And as, as for <laughs> people in the community, uh, we have a lot of great community organizations, and we certainly feel that the Lions Club is one of them. The work we do with the youth, <laughs> Uh, working with uh, the Henry Fork Center, you know, taking kids to a, so they can experience a professional baseball game at Salem. There are a lot of things like that we do in addition to the work with the blind and the site conservation, work with uh, juvenile diabetes. Uh, diabetes is one of the leading causes of blindness now. Uh, so uh, there are a lot of things we do and we do respond to local. Uh, we had in the last uh, four years we've had two uh, blind people uh, move in that needed help and we were able to, to help. If, if we didn't provide it ourselves with, with the uh, funds we have, uh, we, the Lions Club members got busy and if they needed furniture or things like that. So we, we respond to that and, and we, I think just uh, folks get out from in front of that TV mm -hmm. that you're looking at right now and, <laughs> and get involved with a community organization. Uh, that's what makes America great. We have the opportunity to do that and, and it's, it's fun and it makes you feel good too when you, you feel you can help people that need the help, that they don't have the resources to take care of themselves. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, gentlemen, I thank you for coming out bright and early on this Friday morning. Well, we thank you for the opportunity. A little bit wet out there, but uh, I think, uh, unfortunately, as we heard, we, uh, we're coming in this morning. I think Jamie said that's going to continue throughout the rest of the weekend, so we just have to be prepared for that. It's come out of the snow and ice and then straight into rain, but yeah. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a beautiful evening on Friday, March the 15th. Uh, right. Jamie's already promised that. Right. Uh, okay. Weather not going to be an issue on that one. If it is, you know who to blame on that one. We can hear him groaning in the control room there.